Lord God the Father, just ask you to bless this time of study, Lord God, as we lift up Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord and God, Lord, and the Word of God, which is Jesus. And Lord, the very instructions that you've given us, Lord, may we have our sins placed under the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, may the voices go down. Amazing how soon as we start, that kids start screaming. And Lord God, uh, help me to handle properly and correctly. For Jesus' sake we pray. Amen. That's the way of the devil. You know, as soon as you start. That's the way to what? That's the way of the devil. Oh, yeah. Like everything would be quiet on our street. As soon as we start opening up the Bible, then the horns, then the firecrackers. And... All of a sudden, you know, there's noise. All right, so First John. we got Breeze. The Bibles are being opened. First John? Uh, John? John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Yeah. I don't know why I keep saying first. I didn't say it last week. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. And we left off with light. And there was a man sent from God whose name was John, that's John the Baptist. The same came for a witness to bear witness of that capital L light. Now in modern Bibles, that's a small L. That all men through him might believe. And we looked at 2 Corinthians 11 last time. And that L is small. And that was Satan. So by reducing a capital letter, you turn Jesus into Satan. But again, we're looking at this light. And let's look at Luke 10, 18 real quick. I like this reading, but turn the page. Oh, yeah, good. Another place where we see light as Satan. And Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Notice the verse number 18. And he said, Jesus said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from, fall from heaven. How does lightning fall from heaven? It's like got a crooked path. And when you're messing with electricity, you're messing with a power that is, it will kill a man, it will burn a man, it will disable a man, it will start a fire. So, as I said, for everything that is Christ, there is an antichrist of Satan. I don't mean the antichrist. I mean something against Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ has. Satan has a city. Satan has a bride. Satan has a doctrine. He has a Bible. He has everything that Jesus has. Now, back to the light. Yep. John chapter 3, verse 19. Get back to the light of Jesus. And the day that a man receives Christ as a Savior, that's when the lights come on. And that's when we'll start reading the Bible and start understanding the Bible. But before man is saved, John 3, 19, he's in darkness. Now, he may be out in the full sun. He may be out with uh, light bulbs but his spiritual condition is dark in John 3 19 and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world Jesus the word of God the gospel preaching and men love darkness rather than light well who's that darkness we've been looking at that's Satan because their deeds were evil. And I've always said, I've got a message about cockroach. And you walk in the kitchen, you flip that light on, those roaches run, and that's what happens when you're witnessing. You bring this light, this, this word of God, Jesus Christ's light. Oh man, turn that thing off, it's too bright. And sometimes, like the Bible says, evil. 
Well, we don't want we don't want anything holiness. We don't want anything to do with Bible and God. Turn it off. Leave me alone. And that's just outright rejecting the Word of God by man. But sometimes we gotta realize maybe when we open up the light, maybe they've never seen a light before. Maybe you know you're coming down the road and you've got your high beams on, you're just blind in that person. And you gotta realize maybe you know what? This is the first time maybe this guy's ever heard it. And it's just, man, that's bright. And it hurts the eyes. But the light is rejected by man because they want to do evil. So you cannot say that everybody loves Jesus. Everybody's going to receive Jesus. Absolutely not. And so with the other side of that coin, God loves everybody. I mean, one that will reject the light of, of His Son. The one that will reject His Word. God loves you when they're rather do evil. You mean God loves evil? Absolutely, positively not. Talk that He loved the person, but He, but he hated the, the, the expression is, He hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Right. Well, here's a sinner right here, and they just outright rejected Jesus Christ, His Son. Now, God does not love that. Outright rejection of Jesus calls for the wrath of God. So John 3.19, the light is Jesus. The darkness is Satan. And back to 2 Corinthians 11.14. 2 Corinthians 11.14. Well, show us 3.18 first. 3.18? That's what we were just discussing. Well, uh, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Well, 3.16, John 3.16 says, For God so loved, past tense. God, E.D. makes it past tense. God loved man at Calvary. When Jesus Christ died, that was the love of God. You walk away from Calvary rejecting what Jesus Christ has done. That, that's it. The love is past. It's done. Now you have the choice. You either to love him or not love him. Exactly. Now, if, if you if choose you Christ, if you believe on Christ, not only does God love you, He adopts you into the family. Amen. But He will not adopt you into the family and love you if you reject. Right. So that love is past tense. Remember John 3, 16 when somebody says that. You mean tell me that God would love you and you reject everything that Jesus, His Son, has done? Really? No. <laughs> That's just a happy expression that we're just going to happily go into hell. People don't realize that God hates them. In, uh, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. 14. We're looking at the light and darkness. And our very foundation is that there is Jesus and there is the devil. And the devil is so slick, he knows how and what to do to make you be full. I mean, I don't know how many churches of Satan, and I don't mean the church of Satan, I mean churches that follow the doctrine of Satan compared to Bible-believing Christians who love the Lord and do right. Around us, there are plenty of churches around us right now, including Baptist churches, and what are they doing for the Word of God? Oh, they're going to have a car wash. They're going to have a vacation Bible, which is worldly. We're, we're going to have a men's week. We're going to, you know, where's the gospel? And those people who attend those churches, when we preach on the streets, will come up to us and say, that's not what Jesus would do. You just congratulate yourself and tell us that your church does not know what the Bible says. You know? 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, And no marvel. So there's a marvel comics out there with all the superheroes. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. He's just like Jesus. And if you show a picture of Satan's Jesus, with the hair flowing and the beard and all, people will say, that's Jesus. No, it's not. We don't know what Jesus is. By the way, he's not white. He's not colored. He's brown. 
Jewish. 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 Short Jewish man with Probably a crooked the, nose. With a short nose. Brown hair. Or black hair. Black hair, the Bible says. So Satan will fool you to think it, that he's the light. There is no... Yeah, therefore it is no great thing if his, Satan's ministers, also be transformed as ministers of righteousness. There are people in cultists today that are standing up. People think they're standing up for the Bible and Jesus and God. They're standing up for Satan. That's darkness. That's wickedness. That's not correct. So Satan Joel is good. All of them on TV. Anybody who does not preach the resurrection, the gospel, that Jesus Christ is of Abraham. Hmm? Yeah. Like today, I, I, I put on a Facebook book, how can a Klansman say he saved when he hates the Jewish people and Jesus is of Abraham? How can a Roman Catholic say, I'm pleasing God, if God says abomination makes me jealous and they're abomination? They're surrounded by their idols. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm so, glad I got out of that. The thing is, Satan has a light, but it ain't the light. As I said, the modern Bibles have taken John 1 and changed it to a small L. That big L, when you see capital words like that in the, in the Bible, that is God. That is Jesus Christ, and if you reduce it, you have reduced Jesus Christ, and I would not want to stand before him. So, in John 8, 12. There are many people around who have a light, and it may not be the right light. I think the expression would be called a night light. It's artificial. It's not real. The only natural light at night is the moon. That's the type of the church, the Bible says. It's a reflection. It's a reflection of the sun. In John 8, 12. Then spanked Jesus again and saying, I am the light of the world. He has a lower case. That's a little okay, because he's preaching. Oh, he's teaching. Okay. That's the message. All right. Now, I can tell you right now. We can get in a car after one hour, the sun goes down, and we can take a drive down A1A. And we're going to see all kinds of light at night. Uh, beer signs, cigarette signs. Uh, no vacancy signs, vacancy sign, this business, that business, pizza, and whatever. That's not the light of Jesus Christ. Now you may come across somewhere in your child, you might see a little church with a little door that has a sign that says Jesus saved. Or maybe a scripture. But the light of the world, that way to come out for God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now let's finish the verse. I am the light of the world. He that follows me, Jesus, shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Now if you've got an artificial light called religion, that's not light. Because you'll stand at the great white stone judgment. Jesus said, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you. You got the wrong light. And by that verse too, the thing is, and this is hard for some to believe that if you are truly, truly saved, you're going to want to walk in light and not darkness. You're going to hate that stuff. Now you start off as a new Christian. You're growing, growing, growing. That's what you ought to be doing. But all to get to the point that if you do do darkness, you hate it. And you want to get back to that revelation. And that's what the light does. It, it, revi it revives you. Now back to John 3 real quick. John chapter 3. We might be going back and forth, back and forth. We're going to go back to 319. And this is the condemnation. Damn 
that light is coming to the world. That's Jesus. That's the message. That's what we preach to people. That's when we pass out gospel tracts. Here's the light. Here's the light. Here's the light. This is the way to get to heaven. This is the way of righteousness. And men love darkness rather than light. I don't want to hear it. I don't want anything to do with it. Get away from me. You religious nut. Whatever. Because their deeds were evil. They say it. They call us fanatics. They call us Now, verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. That's definitely not a Christian. Neither come to the light. Now, why will they not believe on Jesus? Least his deeds be reproved. That sin be exposed in their life that they enjoy. And one of the biggest things people say, well, when I become a Christian, I'll have to stop that. Well, maybe, yeah. But why not just trust Christ and let him lead your life? And the most thing that most wicked people who are in darkness, the number one reason is, I don't want to leave my sin. I don't, oh, let me put it this way. You know, I said sin. Let me, let me add another aspect to witnessing that people say, I don't want to leave my church. Well, if your church, as we just read, has Satan as your minister, is in that darkness. So they don't want to come to the light, at least their deeds be reproved. I don't want you to tell me that my doctrine of my church is wrong. It, it, it was good for my mother, it's good for my grandparents, it's great for my great-great-grandparents. It's great because of the president or whoever believes in it. And people don't realize that, hey, I'm in a church. But you could be in a darkened church. Oh, no, no, we got electricity. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, well, wait a minute. Yes, you do. Satan. And the only light that may be coming through your church is the lightning that's coming through, giving light as a false imitation light that's not of God. See, God doesn't need batteries. The last time I checked, no one had to go to the sun and change the batteries. And yet, man, in his light, has to be recharged, has to be refueled. And we got to come to the fact is that, okay, that guy may not want to give up drinking, he may not carouse or whatever he does, but there are people out there who don't want to give up their church, and we just read Satan's in many of them. And when you try and you, you wonderfully want to do like, you want to show them the, tr the, the truth, and you give them a book about their religion, whatever it is, oh, no, you can't say that about my church. Yeah, but what the Bible said, I don't want the Bible my priest, my rabbi, my elder, my friends, my parents. And what are they doing? They're rejecting the light. So the rejection of light could be sins. I mean, name is outright sin, liquor, whatever it is. And can also be religious. Because Satan's religious. So, what we see here is we have believed no darkness. I have no darkness in my life now. I am walking in Christ through the Word of God. I have light. John 11, 10. You say, well, after the sun goes down, it gets dark in your life. No, it don't. Because I know things in the Bible that unsaved people don't know. One of the things you say, it's so simple, Genesis 1-1. I believe that there was a God that created everything. There are people out there that believe nothing from something, a big bang happened, and here we all are. And they're saying that the universe is expanding, the universe is more vast than man can ever imagine. From a nothing bomb? From a nothing bomb, we have planets, stars, and novas, and everything out there. That came from nothing? It's impossible. I know, through the light of the scriptures, I know that was a man of Abraham's seed that was born a woman that didn't have no relations with a man. I know that he was born in Bethlehem. I know that only the shepherds came at his birth, not the wise men, there are people who believe that the wise men were there when Jesus was born. That's a lie. 
That's a lie. Right. We three kings of the No, 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 there was no, we don't know how many there were. You're lying. See how simple it is? See, I don't want to leave my kitty nice little stories of, of little hope and stuff like that. That I may be wrong. My parents may be wrong. No, Satan was wrong. Down the Bible just says wise men. It doesn't say how many. It says that they showed up when he was a child. Wrong too. <laughs> In John chapter 11, verse 10, Jesus speaking again. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbles because there's no light in him. Now that's not us. And yet, physically, if the power goes out in the middle of the night, you've got to get up for something. You have great chances of hitting a piece of furniture. All right? What's this spiritually applied? We are saved. We are in the light. And if we stay in the Word, we will know what's going on. Did not Paul say, be not marvel, something like that, when he talked about the ministers of Satan in the pulpit? Isn't that light for us? That if we were to go into a church and say, you know what, that guy's not teaching that. You ask my family, we were in one church one time. As soon as they started quoting the Bible, I slammed the Bible. This ain't King James. You're wrong. Because we knew, we knew the verses. And, I mean, I looked at him, and Rachel looked at me and him, and... We just shut our Bibles. And had had there been no one there, I would have walked out. There was because they were they were reading from a, a New King James or something. Oh, and the thing is, with what happened to me uh, Sunday night, former Baptist church. Now, if you think Southern Baptist was wrong, they were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. Yeah, they're wrong. And they were reading from the. I just know when you came in. So I just got up. When you're in your word, course. you know yeah. when. Yeah. Well, see that. See that's the light. We know what the true Bible says. So, so when people don't do right by the Bible, we know that. That's life. And we need to get away from that. We, 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 have, heard, we have heard messages out of people out of the pulpit that have been wrong. And I've had to help my family correct them that, you know, this is what we heard today. Yeah, she was she was probably about ten or eleven, and we were going a few years ago. and we were going to a church, and the the what was he saying? He was saying instead of verily, verily, he was, truly, truly, he was saying truly, truly. Jesus says in the Bible, verily, verily, That's and right. he was saying truly, truly because it was a different Bible. No, he was reading from King James Bible, but, but he, he was, was changing it to changing the words. Yeah. Well, so he, that he, would he tell you. Or not. They so were reading out of the, yeah. Uh, but, but see, but see, there's another darkness there. There are people who say they're King James, and as they read it, they'll change it as they're reading the King James. But it got, it started disturbing us because when she was saying verses, she started saying truly, truly instead of verily, verily. Yeah. And we were like, no, Rachel, that's wrong. The Bible says verily, verily. It was like, uh oh. So see, in likeness, you already know things. You said, you just said, you sat under a tree. That's not the right Bible. That's fine. So I got up. Guys would have been proud of me. So, so when you're when you're going around Christmas time and you you hear that Christmas carol, wait a minute. He's making a list and checking it twice to see he's been naughty or nice. That's not Santa Claus. That's the Bible, Proverbs 15:3, and the Book of Life, and recording the Book of Numbers, the First Chronicles. That's not Santa. That's God. God records what you've done. Right. And that's light. To judge you at, uh, you know, at the judgment seat of Christ or his. Well, I think they just did an entertainment no. Well, that's wrong. You don't know better. I know. And when no, you adults don't know better. It's a problem. <coughs> a lot when, of the ones that. What I mean. A lot of. I'd say 99.999% of people who resist us celebrate Christmas, so, celebrate Easter. They're, they're against Jesus and, when, and everything. So, so when you're reading your Bible through throughout the year, and you go back and read your Bible through again, and then you read your Bible, and then you say, you know what, I never saw that before. That's light. God shows you all, when you knew, learn something new from the Bible, that's light, and it stays there. And when you're witnessing, and this will happen with you, I guarantee you, you keep witnessing. You'll be dealing with somebody, and you'll walk out of that conversation when it's all done. You'll be like, where did I get that? Where did I learn that? I didn't know that I learned that first. And that's you putting the scriptures in your heart. Wow. Uh -huh. 
It will happen. It happens to me still today. So, we don't walk in darkness because we have believed on the light. And the light grows, 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 grows. So that light, there's darkness or there's light. There's darkness or there's light. There's Satan or there's Christ. Out of that pulpit, there's either going to be Satan preaching or there's going to be Jesus preaching. So you say, how do I know if this is church is right? Listen to that man, and if he violates the Bible, it's wrong. Yeah, I get mad at that showed up on screen. See this thing right here? Even on the screen. You see this right here? This, this is your judge. People will say, judge not, least you be judged. Well, first of all, show me where it is in the Bible, and you're not going to be able to tell me. All right. Women preachers. Let's see, the Bible has something to say about that. Uh, people not given to marriage and being clergy. The Bible says something about that. Your works. The Bible says about your works. The Bible says, the Bible, there is a rule of thumb. Now, John chapter 12, 36. When just threw me all over the place here. Hey, wait, I'm gonna need you. Did you know that Satan controls the weather? Job, Job chapter one. He may be. He, 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 well, he does too. In the ship in the storm, the whirlwind came and killed Job's sons, and that was God. I mean, that was God giving the devil permission to do that. And you don't know. Maybe, maybe the angels of Satan blowing the pages around. That happens every week. And we've been talking about Satan. I'm not, I'm just saying. 1236 did I say? I said. Jesus speaks. Notice how everything, if you've got a red letter Bible, everything's in what Jesus has been saying. Oh, yeah. It's not what I say. That's why we have an open Bible. That's why we open the light and read. I can tell you anything I, I can believe. I can give you the doctrine of man. While ye have light, believe in the light. That ye may be the children of light. Now here's somebody who, who has not received the light, has not believed on Christ. You better listen to that man. You better pay attention to that gospel chat. You better do what the Bible says. Because it can be a point that God says, okay, I'm done with you. You're, you're done. And then your life is hopeless. There are people who can sin against God to the point is, I'm not helping you with that. You're done. There's no more hope. God told Jeremiah when he came to the people of Israel, the Jew, don't even pray for him. I'm not listening to you. So, when you deal with somebody, it's for them to keep coming, keep listening, keep doing, keep till they get saved. The best, see, the advice Jesus is giving now is get saved. That you may be the children of light. I'm a child of light. What light? Either I'm a child of I'm a child of Satan or I'm a child of Jesus. So when you look at me and you see what I speak and you see the ministry I I have, unless somebody has perverted the tape, perverted the the, the video, what's the Bible say who I'm on? Do I put forth principles of what the Bible says, or do I put forth principles of what man says? So what does that man behind that pulpit, what does he promote? God or Satan? What light does he have? And that will get you out of trouble. That will get you right. Foundation. So again, that's Jesus. And again, there's light and darkness. And 1246, same chapter. Now this verse is packed, and people don't even realize it. From previous studies that we've already studied, we'll build upon something new now. Ready? I am come a light. Notice a light. Why would Jesus say a light? Because there's another light, isn't there? Second Corinthians. He would say, I'm the light. But he's not the only one. So, I am coming light. So you can choose Christ or you can choose Satan. But it's a light. Everybody has a light. Isn't that interesting? Is yours natural from God to create or is it artificial from Satan? 
So here we go. Into the world. Christ came into the world to save sinners. Christ came with the world born of a virgin. Does the church that you are visiting, does it teach that Christ God came in the flesh? Many don't. He was just a good teacher. He wasn't God. He was just a man. He wasn't God. Then you got the wrong one. You got the wrong light. All right, we're not done. That whosoever believeth on him, on me, excuse me, whosoever believeth on me, Jesus speaking, there's that whosoever believeth, John 3, 16. All right, so you got to believe. Now here's believe. Should not abide in darkness. Now that has two, two applications. Darkness that, you know, our life today, a man who has not trusted Christ, his spiritual condition, he's dark. Also, if a man dies without Jesus Christ, he goes into hell. What was hell do we talk about? Darkness. So if you don't want to go to hell and burn in darkness, spend your eternal life in darkness, you've got to have the true light. Amen. And then they'll sing that cute little song, let your light shine. It's not my light. It's Christ's light. I'm the moon. I reflect the light. If it's your light, let my light shine. You get me? That's Satan. That's Satan's song right there. That's Satan's song because it's the light of Jesus Christ. Again, there's light and there's artificial light, Satan. Mm -hmm. And the true light gives you salvation. The true light that God has is the sun, moon, and stars. What keeps the sun going? God. What keeps me going as a Christian? God. Why is the moon reflected? Because God. He ordained it. Why is why do I keep going? Because God has ordained me to keep going. No one changes my battery pack. And the artificial light, again, is bulbs. It's a light bulb. It's a filament. It's a wire. God's not wired. Hot wire. And again, we won't go there, but 2 Corinthians 11, 14 again. He says he's the angel of light. So what is that imitation? I seen an angel. I saw a light. I died and there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Better be careful. Because that's not how Jesus ever showed up. Jesus never showed up coming out of darkness as a light bulb. Jesus never came and showed up as an angel. He's God, not an angel. Your Bible records that he has angels under him. But he, if somebody comes and say, well, I have an angel, I saw an angel, big deal. You may saw an angel, but I have Jesus Christ. He's in charge of the angel. And by the way, there are angels that are also still of Satan and will be of Satan. Be careful. Now that you saw an angel, is that a good angel or is that a bad angel? To quote a movie. You got to be careful. Benjamin Franklin, with a key and a kite came lightning, electricity, batteries. Benjamin Franklin was a lost man. Benjamin Franklin gloated in his in his moans of his sin. And we have what we have electricity today comes from one earthly man that has no power to save you. In a country called America, which, you know, you know how many religions came out of America? Mormonism came out of America. Mary Becky Eddy's came out of America. The Jehovah Witnesses come out of America. The Charismatics come out of America. The fruits of America and electricity are not godly. Amen. All right, I got something that came from America. No, I got something that came out of Jerusalem. That came out of Israel. That came of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have a Jewish slaver. How's yours? Well, my Jesus, you know, he's got long flowing hair. He's, no, that's not mine. That's, that's the wrong one. There's light that gives light, and there's a light that gives darkness. That's that's important. There's actually a light called out. Uh, what oh, what's it called now? Black light, isn't it? And you can't see it. And they use it to find stains and all kinds of things. It's a light, but you can't see it. So. We have to be careful when we're living our life to realize that there's the light, 
Jesus Christ, and there is a light, Satan. And if Satan's so good to make a light that's not a light, and millions and billions of God, billions of people going back to Cain have been fooled. Cain had a religion. Abel brought blood. Cain brought his works of the ground. That's where religion founded upon. Mm -hmm. And all through the time, Cain thought he was right. Cain believed he was doing right. And he even got mad at his brother. And he got mad at God. And when God judged him, he's like, why are you going to do this? This is such a harsh punishment upon me. Here, my, your brother is lying dead in the ground, right with God. And you had the nerve to, to yell at God. And yet people that you witness to now, and grab a hold of this, people that you witness to are going to yell at you, they're going to be mad at you, they're going to hate you, and if they can, some of them are going to want to kill you. That's the ministry. There are people in other parts of this world right now, they're, they're in a prison. They are going to probably maybe lose their head real quick, soon. We heard about uh, a guy the other day, he's in London, England. London, England, what's wrong with that? The police that look like an army, that carry all kinds of guns on their shoulders and wear bulletproof body armor, they're police, but they look in our told that guy that you must take that cross you're wearing, not down for the crosses. You need to put that inside your shirt because another religion hates it. Mm. Now I'm not for the cross they wearing. They made a law in that town it's a because the, because the new mayor was a Muslim. And he put a law in force that could display crosses. So what so what we gotta look at is now as we're Wait, witnessing, as we're born again Bible believing Christians. We've got to come to, to acknowledge, first of all, not everybody's going to get saved. Get that out of and they will tell you. There will be churches saying, you know, every, a town, last week in our town, 5,000 people got saved, but it's a town of 2,000. I've heard that from astoundable preachers. And then number, number, number two is we have to know, is there a light and what is that light? Not everybody is going to get saved. And number two is, you will be hated. Jesus said, marvel not, the world hates you. Know that it hated me first. There are Christians that get upset because they get persecuted. They get yelled at. They get, ah, yeah, yeah. Jesus got four nails and thorns, a cat of nine tails, whipped and bruised. And Christians are upset because they got yelled at. Back to John 1, 7, close. And the same came for a witness to bear witness of that light. The light of Jesus. Capital L. And all men through him might believe. So you've got to believe that light. And you've got to make sure you got the correct light. 1, 7. You know what John the Baptist got at the end of his time? For preaching about Jesus? and sin, his head came off. So don't be upset if somebody yells at you. Just say, hey, you know what? That's what the Bible told me. And when you have people come up to you, where's your mass crowd of peace? peace? Jesus said, many will go to the broad way into destruction. Few will enter the straight gate. And that's just your whole, those words, you know, encourage you. Christianity of the Bible, born again Bible believing Christians, as far as the world, there's no success. But you know what the success of Christianity being a Bible believing, born again Christian? God says, Go to all the world and preach the gospel. You go out there and preach the gospel. Lord, many of the people I witnessed to did not get saved. I'm still going to give you a crown. I told you to go preach gospel. I didn't tell you to get results. Now, in our actions as evangelistic Christians, we make sure that we promote the light and not Satan's light. And we must study. We must get right. we got to realize, hey, what's wrong with this carol? It's against the Bible. What's wrong with this little story? 
if it's against the Bible, it's not correct. What's wrong with this program at church? Does the Bible say about it? What's the Bible say? And the Bible says you're not to do it, you don't do it. If Satan says to do it, the light of the Bible says something, the light of Satan says something else. Satan goes against the Bible, and the Bible goes against Satan. You got to measure it up. And the, the main aspect we learned today that there's two lights. And we got to judge with the Bible our own light. Mm -hmm. What light am I producing? Because it could be Satan or it could be God. Okay. Beep, beep.